hello my blessed family are you doing hope you are doing awesome so god wants me to share this great message and testimony with you mm -hmm. however god wants me to share this joke first with you hmm. so i was in a wedding my little cousin was like two or three years old at that time so he started shouting everybody run for your life everybody run for your life i mean like it was so funny <laughs> like people at the wedding were looking at him looking around like should they run or what or is he joking <laughs> so it was joking you know like we all were just sitting down on you know, all these wedding tables and stuff and it was an outside wedding you know <laughs> so it was so funny i was just laughing silently at people's reaction like any small thing i'm always laughing so his mom tried to close his mouth he kept on saying it everybody run for your life everybody run for your life <laughs> so oh my god it was so funny so um everyone was just laughing at the wedding you know they, later they now knew that he was joking right <laughs> so me i knew he was joking you know like my friends were saying he took the watch movie <laughs> so i mean like it was so funny then another one right in nigeria my mom when she was little like she used to tell us this testimony a lot like i think she was a teenager or something like a lady walked up to her and she started talking in a way to make my mom to make my mom laugh like she was talking with her mouth sideways you know trying to make my mom to laugh so when my mom got home she told our mom my grandma and she said thank god she did not laugh like if she had laughed they would have used that for money ritual like you know those people that walk up to you and they want to test their bad medicine and see if you will laugh you know wow thank god my mom did not laugh so like my mom told me and my sisters this testimony when we were little so she stopped laughing then the out because before like when we were little we would be, we, like we laugh a lot any small thing anyone anything we'll just be laughing so she was just saying no, don't be laughing at everything no hmm, be careful so another testimony i went to i went to do grocery shopping recently and as i was leaving you know walking towards my car I looked down at my items and I realized I'd not pay for one item. I was like, what? Oh my God. So God helped me to go back, then pay for it. Glory to God. You know, another person will be like, oh, they did not see me. So I will just go like that. But God sees you, you know? Also, you never know if a camera saw you or anything, you know? Always do the right thing. Don't steal, you know? Like God really saved me. Like normally the security door should just like blink but it did not like if it did they would think i did not pay for it on purpose but no 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 i did not see it it was so hidden so as i was approaching my car i looked down then i realized wait i did not pay for that one god helped me to quickly go back and you know i entered with my cart went straight to self-service took a candy paid for the candy and the other item you know so it's not obvious that i left an item out hmm. god gave me wisdom glory to god like god really saved me you no know, they could have accused me of theft but it was not theft i forgot to pay for the item so god helped me to go back in and pay for it glory to god in fact when i was going back god hid me from the security people god helped me to pay for it like if you look at it they didn't even know what was happening but god and i knew what was happening like if no one sees you god sees you and it can hurt your conscience for the rest of your life so god helped me to go back you know it was a test god helped me to pass the test also i noticed that same day an old lady approached me she was driving this cart with wheel in the grocery store you know and she said please help me pick that bread and i was like oh okay so i picked it up for her and i gave it to her then that same grocery store like another old lady approached me and this time i was when i was entering the store for the first time she was about to um like she was 
she was with a cart with a wheel you know she was like telling me oh please can you drop it inside i'm like i don't know how to drive this cart <laughs> so i told her sorry i don't know she was like oh okay no problem then i walked into the store like so many tests were happening in the store like three tests at once god helped me to pass the first old lady second old lady the, the item i forgot to pay for and i went back to pay for it glory to god so another testimony you know i told you that i got a bed recently so one day right i forgot myself i just threw myself on my bed like i just sat down on it and it was so hard i'm like my waist started paining me so i was like god what about bed is this like my body was hurting me so guess what i woke up in the middle of the night like 1 a.m right with body pains so god spoke to my heart god said Ty, you need to change this bed to a softer one i said god you are right <laughs> so i called the guy that sold it to me like 10 a.m the next day when i was at work so i told him this bed is hard do you have a softer one and he said yes he said um come over out after work so guess what they close at 6 p.m i close from work at 6 p.m so he said he would wait, he would wait for me till 7 p.m hmm that's the favor of god so also this bed company is like two minutes away from my house so i asked him i will it be delivered like today he said no maybe tomorrow i was like oh my god <laughs> but guess what god did hmm so god helped me to leave work early like 5 30 p.m and i got to the bed company like 5 40 p.m then guess what i quickly picked my soft bed then the delivery guy was on his way to deliver beds so it was like since my house was two minutes away it's gonna drop it right now i was like yes <laughs> oh i was so happy i was like thank god you know like that's a miracle god answered my prayer because i was telling god my heart desire like god i don't think i can sleep on this bed one more day <laughs> god please do a miracle let it be delivered today and god did a miracle see god answered my prayer child i got a softer bed same day you know <clears throat> like when you have a light body weight like me child get a soft bed <laughs> like other places were like two days delivery another place with the saturday i was like ah you want to kill me so imagine this person i called on monday got it on mo like monday evening you know glory to god hmm, that's the favor of god now let's move on to the god's other aspects of his message today so great deals on this new house versus my last house so this new house the rent is 200 dollars cheaper than my last house hmm. glory to god also i don't even pay for utilities electricity internet the landlady pays for them i only pay for my room great deal thank god like in my old house my evil landlord makes he makes us to pay for utilities and he gets the bill privately then it splits it between the three of us <clears throat> me and my two other housemates so that means he could make up the numbers and give me the highest amount and that was what he did god revealed that to me also it was turning off the internet so acting like it's from the internet people and i was paying for its internet can you imagine hmm, bad deal so another great deal is that this house no pets yes what a relief like my old house had a dog and the advantage of the the dog is that the dog made me not be close to them the dog revealed how evil they were so when god told me to live in my old house then i was like god you know i ate pets <laughs> god said don't worry you protect me so at first i was afraid of the dog you know when i said at my door when i wanted to go to the restroom i was so scared i peed in a nylon bag hmm. then god gave me confidence to tell the dog to leave the next time and it left that i was able to gain more confidence yeah i really ate animals for real so we continue the next video